This next story is about your safety. There are shiny new Metro cars in our future. The trains will have all the bells and whistles. I'm talking about the built in digital maps instead of paper posters. Each seat will have power outlets to charge your devices. But here's the issue. Cybersecurity experts say all those gadgets could expose your data, especially if a Chinese company wins the bid to build them. And now Congress is stepping in to stop it. Transportation reporter Pete Muntean has a story you will see only on WUSA 9. It could be a plot out of science fiction. A rail industry group fears that you could be tracked by secret sensors on metro trains if a Chinese company builds the transit agency's new rail cars. It sounds like a spy novel. Eric Olson is the vice president of Rail Security Alliance. The group of rail manufacturers is rallying riders against CRRC Corporation. The company is subsidized by the Chinese government and it's bidding to build Metro's new 8000 series trains planned for 2024. Olson is concerned that riders will be spied on. He points to Chinese-made smartphones banned for military bases. The Pentagon found the devices could track troop positions. Phone makers cried foul, but Olson insists Chinese trains could spy on you just as well. I don't think you can actually mitigate this issue. Um, if you're allowing the Chinese to build trains and allowing them to build parts, there's always going to be a cybersecurity concern. These are the vulnerabilities of 8,000 trains, according to cybersecurity experts. Security cameras on rail cars that can recognize your face and track your commuting habits. They also think loopholes could be designed into train software. That could allow hacks of major systems, such as train control panels. Federal employees who make up a third of Metro riders could be hacked or blackmailed through onboard Wi-Fi. Retired Army Brigadier General John Adams is now a cybersecurity consultant. He says invisible risks could put your ride in danger. Buying hugely expensive and sophisticated electronic equipment as modern rail cars are from China is a huge threat to us. CRRC is controversial in the transit world. It builds trains at prices less than competitors, becoming the front runner for manufacturing contracts, including transit systems in Chicago, LA, Boston, and Philadelphia. I think it's just a method for stifling competition, quite frankly. Marina Popovic is CRRC's spokesperson. I think CRRC was um, a winner for those contracts because it was able to provide exactly what those agencies were looking for. They were able to provide a secure, um, state-of-the-art product. Metro is retiring legacy trains at the end of their useful life. It wants at least 250 new cars, maybe as many as 800. CRC underscores there are no American companies that make new rail cars. The company stresses that Metro inspectors will be alongside its workers as the trains go through final assembling in the United States. There is absolutely unequivocally no facts, no evidence of anything in the past, whether it be CRC or any other manufacturer of, of rail cars that you know should be giving anybody any concern about what CRC will be doing. Um, on any upcoming projects. I think that Metro understands the cybersecurity uh, threat, but it's going on the cheap, frankly. Congresswoman Eleanor Holmes Norton is leading the charge against CRRC. She cited national security concerns in a new amendment to a bill that would block Metro from buying Chinese trains. Why don't we just get them from one of the other countries? Yes, it'll cost us more, and we understand that, and we'd have to take on that burden. Metro would not go on camera, but provided a statement. The transit agency insists it does not take cybersecurity lightly. It says it already follows federal standards to combat multiple threats, including those from suppliers. Builder bids were submitted at the end of last month. Chinese train opponents fear their chance to keep our area safe is quickly leaving the station. It's not worth a, a, a extra cheaper dollar versus the security of our metro system and its riders. So Pete, the cyber threat aside, is it Metro saving money a good thing? Well, the transit agency really needs every penny it can get right now. Even members of Metro's board have told me that if Congress forces them to buy more expensive Metro cars, then the federal government should be the one subsidizing the difference. This is going to be a really big contract, Leslie, likely a billion dollar deal. So is this really money that's motivating this push against CRRC? Well, that's what CRRC wants to know, and it thinks this is a bit of a smear campaign against it. Considering the fact that the company's already in a few cities, 
CRC seems to think that this is to try and keep it out of ultimately moving into the freight rail industry, and the company insists that it has no track record of cybersecurity issues. Fascinating. Well, we know you've got uncut interviews and other information from Metro about how it says it is protecting us, the riders. We've already posted that on WUSA9.com and our WUSA9 app. Thanks, Pete. Important <laughs> information.